So I want to record a film video, but there is a certain problem. And the problem is, yesterday I fed all of these tarantulas. And also today I fed all the tarantulas in these glass enclosures. Also tarantulas in these smaller uh, plastic cups or whatever. I fed all of these tarantulas, I fed the centipede, I fed this tarantula, I fed all the scorpions over there. I also fed all the slings over here and slings over there, uh, tarantulas over there, the pokey communal that is, and also Hysterocrates gigas communal, while only tarantulas, only spiders, only animals in these enclosures are left. And then I remembered, oh no, I wanted to record the feeding video, but these are all the tarantulas that <laughs> I have left to be fed. So I mean, it is not a huge problem, but we are kind of limited to tarantulas over there. So yeah, that's the problem. Not a huge one, but still a problem and even though i fed linda yesterday come on it is a terraforza steer me she's always hungry and she will she will take a small roach without a problem regardless so let's just feed her right i love how she just doesn't care that i'm opening her enclosure she's just standing there huge and yeah being super proud of her size. I have some lateralis roaches. As I said, I fed her yesterday, so I will just give her a small roach. I don't really want to push it. Let's see if she will jump for lateralis roach. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I actually accidentally dropped it. <laughs> I was hoping that she will jump for the roach, but that unfortunately didn't happen. Um, regardless, I think that the takedown was all right. And we had uh, a nice fang action, a brief fang action, followed by a happy dance, maybe? Hmm, Linda, you have a happy dance for us. That would be kind of sweet, you know? Mm. The roach looks so tiny in her big fangs. You can barely see it. <laughs> but unfortunately, it seems that the happy dance won't happen, at least for now, maybe later. So let me take her enclosure back and bring a couple of stacks of those plastic enclosures. There are a lot of interesting tarantulas among those plastic tubs. Interesting for sure. <laughs> all right, these are all the tarantulas and we are starting with this Hilobrachis species Vietnam blue female and this is actually the female that I said that I'm going to put I'm going to add her to the the old Harry Potter enclosure but I actually changed my mind as I want to do I want to use a different spider I still don't have that spider but you will see it is going to be really really sweet thing but let's not keep her waiting uh, if I drop it behind her I hope that she will oh so unprofessional i actually dropped it on accident again i don't know what is up with my you know, roach handling skills <laughs> although so far no reaction from her this is strange are you okay maybe mm, can you see that blue coloration this is the reason why this is called uh, vietnam blue species vietnam blue even though 95 percent of the tarantula is black there is five percent of tarantula that is blue let's call it species blue yeah tarantula naming logic mm. I will need to bring it, bring the roach a bit closer. Oh, the, yeah, there we go. She was actually only lazy. She didn't want to move for the roach and she was waiting for roach to approach her actually. <laughs> so lazy. <laughs> okay, do you have anything else to show us besides your gorgeous appearance? I mean, Hilobrahi species, often, you know, they are in their web tunnels, in their tunnels in general and you cannot see them very well but she's out and about mostly because she used to have a tunnel here but then she decided that nah tunnels are for weak spiders i'm just going to flat everything out instead and be out on the open fine by me even better to be honest now who will be next in here i have one that i don't really see it's megaphobena robustum male but it is always under this cork bark so there yeah there are some legs you see so we will try to drop the roach over there and maybe maybe we are going to see something and also by the way you will notice that enclosures are relatively dry that's because 
when I'm feeding them, I'm also watering them. But I will do that after the video because, um, yeah, it will be a bit easier and quicker. Let's see if we can get something out of this. Oh, I think that that won't happen. Hmm. Oh, once again, we see legs over here. Hmm. Nope, I don't think that the guy is interested. <laughs> okay. Okay, moving on. Not a problem. We still have plenty of tarantulas left, right? Pamphobetio species Mahala, the kind of gorgeous female, but when you compare her with males, then she's not so gorgeous. You know that I have two mature males, but I think that she she should molt at least once before I can pair her because she's now still smaller than those males, so I don't think that that would end well. Anyhow, a roachy roachy. Okay. <laughs> She's not messing around. And you can actually see a bit of purple on her pedipops and also on her legs, but just a tiny bit. Her beauty is mostly in her carapace. You see this kind of shiny carapace. Yeah, munchy munchy. Sweet. And I heard the crunches, but they are really quiet so i don't think that microphone is picking them up anyhow next tarantula this is the stock standard tarantula uh, it is the brachypelma hamori and this is a male but still a really pretty and feisty male you see i think that camera stopped recording just now but i'm not sure anyhow as i said one pretty pretty male tarantula but currently he looks just like a female tarantula you can't really tell them apart yeah Let's carry on. Now this is something more interesting, uh, especially because of the fact that you cannot often see this tarantula outside, but thankfully she created the burrows on top and not on the bottom. So therefore I can see her all the time whenever I want. And that is really good for recording videos, especially feeding videos. Uh, oh, come on, I'm constantly dropping roaches at the wrong spots and at wrong time but still there was the takedown Ceropacopus lividum or lividus i'm not really sure but check out the blue coloration on the legs now a little bit more blue coloration than on Hilobrahi's species vietnam blue right a slightly prettier tarantula featured on this year's dark den calendar oh yes i'm really happy with the picture of this tarantula on the calendar at least but it is of course sold out so you know if you know mm, okay one asian burrower very nice now next three tarantulas are actually kind of boring those are nandu colorato Velosus male that never eats he, i don't know when he when was his last meal i have no idea let me at least show him he is just not interesting in food he's interesting in something else and I was actually looking for a female for him, but unfortunately I didn't manage to find a mature male, a uh, mature female, what am I saying? But he can be a little bit cranky. Look, or not, not cranky today. Hey, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just throwing hairs, I mean, kicking hairs. Interesting, usually he is just immediate threat posture. Uh, okay, that's it. Don't worry, I will be back for you to give you some water. Uh, Nandu chromatus, two females I believe, but I think that they are a bit fat, although this one is hiding, so I'm going to show you the other one. But by now I think that you are all familiar with how the Nandu chromatus looks like. So one roachy roachy. Let's drop it at the right spot this time, please. Oh, seriously. Hmm, didn't try to grab him. What is up? That is not... Uh, oh, of course that it needs to go under the cork bark. Stupid roach. Come on. Go there and be eaten. No, don't go under the cork bark. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for grabbing him. That was really, really kind. <laughs> you got pretty red hairs on the abdomen. You know that? Pretty sweet. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now we are done with bigger plastic tubs and we have one two three four five six twelve is that right yes twelve more smaller plastic tubs and we are starting with one that is really interesting although it is not outside 
but hopefully we will be able to change that because this is a male Monocentropus balfuri but it is still not a mature male it is here what the oh the roach is broken <laughs> This was a really hard takedown. Maybe I will be able to poke it out. A little bit of cooperation, please, for the audience. No, where did you go? Ah, there we go. Just a little bit more, come on. There we go. This is a sweet juvenile Balfouri male. Mm. One good looking tarantula, that is. Good looking indeed. <laughs> and once he matures, I will add him to the Balfouri communal. And if you are wondering what is up with the with the slings that I added uh, in the communal, I have no idea. They are somewhere inside. I cannot really spot them anyway, so they are probably in the tunnels and who knows. Now I'm just waiting to see molts in the future. That's all that I can tell you now. Another blue tarantula, but rightful, rightfully called oh, rightfully called blue. That is, I think, in the pre-molt. Yeah, definitely in the pre mold and super mad. Look at this, this beautiful booty that is popped in the air <laughs> so defensively. <laughs> this is a uh, Pseudohapalopus species blue and it is really, really mad. Usually the abdomen is super shiny, but currently from this angle you cannot see it really well. Trust me, it is super shiny, super shiny. Another pretty and interesting one. Oops. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm just adding action noises to the commentary. That's all. <laughs> but that was a good takedown. This is this beautiful tarantula is where is the label? Xenesty species Megascoptula. And it kind of recently molted, therefore uh, it got a small abdomen, you see. Need to fatten that up quickly, quickly with some roaches, of course. Now this one, even though it is interesting tarantula, interesting looking tarantula, it is a pain to feed. You know that from the older feeding videos, whenever I feature this tarantula, I don't think that it ever took the roach on the camera. I don't think so. Oh, were those legs? Yeah. Hmm. Are we going to have a takedown? Please, come on. I'm eager for this takedown. Oh, please, baby, please. But you see, it is a pretty, pretty looking tarantula and super scared, unfortunately. That is a Cochiana brunipes. And I think that I will just crush the roach's head and drop it down there. Hopefully, later she will take the roach. That's all that I can do for this tarantula. But you know that this one will take a roach without any problems because... <laughs> oh, seriously, was that... Is this roach a bit too small for you? No, it is not. This, ladies and gentlemen, it is not a super pretty looking tarantula, but it is a feisty tarantula that grows to an uh, impressive size. This is Lasiodora parahibana. Super common, super cheap, super easy to get, but they get huge, huge. Time to feature this beautiful girl once again. This is a Davus pentaloris. It is a really, really sweet dwarf tarantula. Yeah, the, the abdomen is the highlight of this tarantula for sure. This is a female. I, I think that I already said it, but yeah. Now this is another Hilobrahis tarantula. And this is Hilobrahis species electric blue. And you see, just like Cyropagopus lividum, it is really visible and even though there is a decent amount of substrate allowing tarantula to dig under it. For some good reason, it decided to make a tunnel on top of the, the lid, which is mwah, sweet. I want to try to feed it off tweezers because I want to show off its fangs. Oof. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that witch, but here it is. You see? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bite the... I mean, don't... No, don't bite the... Yeah. <laughs> tweezers yeah bite the roach that was a school example why you want to drop the roach and not feed it off thangs but still a successful takedown and you had a beautiful opportunity to check out the gorgeous blue coloration on this tarantula which is kind of hard to see when you are looking down on it because you see from this angle it just looks like a regular Hilobrahis tarantula, maybe like Joaquini or something like that. But in fact, it is a 
way, way, way prettier tarantula. All right, after almost breaking uh, fangs of my tarantula on video, <laughs> we are approaching last three tarantulas. This first one, first one of last three, that is. This first one is Oritoctonus aureotibialis. And you see, this one actually made the tunnel on the bottom of the enclosure, you see. And therefore we cannot see the tarantula really good. You can see some legs most likely, but that is everything. Uh, this is why I love when tarantulas make a circle on top. But still we get a sweet looking tunnel entrance. Uh, I'm going to drop the roach, but I will try to get it closer to the top of the entrance and which will hopefully give us opportunity to see the tarantula. And hopefully this will go better than with electric blue. Okay, okay. Sweet. That was a nice takedown and also we have a, a broken roach part left. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Now we are left with Cyriopagopus minax, male and the female. You can see, I'm not really sure which one is which. I can check it out, but it is not really important currently. Down there you can see one leg, so therefore we won't be able to see this tarantula, but this one is out on the open. So I'm just going to quickly drop a roach over there and we are just going to move into this tarantula. Just so I know that I... Uh, okay. Well, ooh, you can actually spot the tarantula down there. You see? Yeah, she grabbed the roach. Sweet, now the other one. This one also, oh no. I wanted to say this one also made a tunnel, but it is outside just as it bolted back to its tunnel. Ah, uh, hopefully roach will lure it. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. And also, you get a sneak peek of this tarantula, the Cyriopagopus minax. And it is gone, almost, just legs. So, that's the last tarantula. I hope that you enjoyed this feeding video. The, this is actually the first feeding video inside of the new Dark 10. Yeah, I didn't even mention that at the start of this video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Um, there's also a merch page, um, Apple Monday and Friday. We'll see you again soon. Bye!